Hello everyone! On today's video, I am going to be showing you how to make these adorable Minecraft-inspired Christmas ornaments. The first thing you're going to need are square ornaments. I had to find these online. Uh, and then some glitter adhesive, different colored glitter for all of the blocks that you want to do, as well as some electrical tape. I have pink, purple, black, white, and gray. Regular glue, a sealer, which is optional, a funnel, scissors, a paintbrush, and a paper plate and some graph paper. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the cap off of the ornament and put a small amount of the adhesive, uh, maybe a teaspoon in there. This is basically like watered down glue, which you could probably also use, uh, as long as it dries clear. Swirl that all around. By the way, I have my mother helping me, and for the most part she helped me, but, well, there were a few mishaps. Okay, give me a little bit more. <gasps> oh, sorry, I forgot I took this off. <laughs> The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put in a generous amount of the glitter into the ornament. I'm using white uh, for the sheep first, and then start shaking it around or just turning the ornament. Ooh, it's working. Doesn't look half bad. Try not to be surprised when it turns out really good. <laughs> Dump out the excess glitter, and then... There you have it, the base of what's going to be a little cute, adorable Minecraft sheep. Now you're basically going to repeat that step for all of the ornaments that you want to do. I'm doing eight ornaments. So I'm using green for a creeper, brown for a dirt block, red for a TNT block, pink for a pig, yellow for a chest, purple slash black for an enderman, a darker red for a mushroom, and the white for the sheep. If you add too much glue at the beginning, you can drain out the glue uh, back into the bottle before you add the glitter. That's gonna prevent the glitter from clumping inside the ornament, which you don't want. By the way, do you think that we can get to 15,000 thumbs up on this video? Leave a like below and let's see if we can do it. Okay, now I have all of the bases for the ornaments done and I let them dry. And now what I'm gonna do is using the graph paper and the different colors of electrical tape, I'm going to make little eyeballs and noses. You can see the nose here for the sheep. Uh, and then I'm going to just plop those on there. You can either cut the tape, but sometimes the tape is a little bit tricky to cut, so you can also uh, put it on the graph paper first and cut it out easier and then glue them on. So there's the creeper and the sheep. Uh, I am also going to draw on TNT. Please ignore all of the scratches and band-aids on my hand. I have a new cat and he's very, very playful. I also bite my nails. I'm trying to stop, okay? Uh, so here's the TNT block, which is really easy. You just put a white piece of the electrical tape around the block and write TNT on it. Pretty simple. And then snip it with a pair of scissors and you're done. The chest is probably the hardest one of the bunch because you have to get the electrical tape a lot thinner. I'm using the black uh, for the outline of the chest and the gray for the little latch and then just putting it on the corners and trimming off the excess. You don't even have to go all the way around the back. I did it, but I, I definitely uh, got a little bit lax going around the back and didn't try to line them up as uh, well as I should have, but this is probably my favorite ornament. And now for the Enderman, I use this really awesome iridescent black and purple glitter, and then I'm just gluing on his eyes. Don't worry about the smudges. Uh, everything's gonna dry clear. I also made his eyes a little bit narrower. And then for the dirt block, I'm actually putting the green glitter on top of the actual ornament. So I just put some glue on top of the ornament where I wanted the green glitter to stick, and then I'm dipping it in. It's important to let this one dry all the way. Uh, maybe spray it with some hairspray after you're done, or if you have an adhesive spray, that would work. 
It's getting there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so now I'm doing the little pig snout and his eyes, and I'm using pink for the snout and purple for the nostrils. Electrical tape doesn't come in every color of the rainbow, so you kind of have to get creative. It's not exact Minecraft colors, but I think it looks pretty good. And then at the last minute, I decided to sneak in a mushroom because it's one of my favorite mobs in the game. So I'm using the black and the white and the gray electrical tape uh, to follow a pretty basic pattern give him some teeny little nostrils. It's not gonna look perfect. You'll spend hours trying to get it uh, perfect. Uh, don't worry about that. From a distance, it looks really, really fun. And it's, you know, it's DIY. So perfection is not necessary, luckily for me. <laughs> and there you go. There are my eight Minecraft-inspired glitter ornaments. Now the last step you could do is to paint the entire ornament with this sealer. I started to worry a little bit because it was giving an iridescent glow to the ornaments that I didn't want. It ended up drying completely clear, so I will probably go back and add it to all the rest. And there you go! I hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please take a minute to do so. I would really appreciate it, as well as tagging me if you happen to share this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Paige, Molly, Polly, and Milktoast love you. Go rescue a dog. <laughs>